The Japanese, having occupied the Central Plains region, imposed a blockade on all sea routes into the country. They boasted that they would end the war in China within six months. In order to guarantee the flow of foreign assistance, China built the Burma Road in just nine months from November 1937 to August 1938. This new highway, extending for nearly 1,000 kilometers into Kunming, became a vital supply route. But as it posed a major threat to the Japanese, it made Kunming a main target of their bombers. Dear, dearer and dearest Wilma and John, I wish to have a troop of secretaries and efficient typewriting machines clicking loud enough to drown the air raid alarms which has been our daily music and menace for the last week now. Don't worry, Wilma. We all manage to take things very calmly. After each raid, we remark like experts and say that it has been a very mild one. We generally become very active right after the raid, as if instinctively we try to make up for that loss of life during the previous hours. You will have to guess what I've gone through during the good part of the last year and how different life has been since. And that I still manage to be thinner every day is no surprise. My temper has grown to make up for loss of body weight. Nature can always do many things. To escape the bombing, the Society for the Study of Chinese Architecture, along with several institutes under the Central Research Academy, moved to Lungtou on the outskirts of Kunming. The Institute of Modern History under the Central Research Academy in Taipei has in its collection a set of photographs taken by archaeologist Shi Zhang Ru in Lungtou village. Ten years before the photographs were taken, the Institute of Historical Languages under Fu Sinian undertook a massive excavation project at the Yin Ruins in Hernan, which, in the words of French Sinologist Paul Pellio, extended the history of China back by another 4,000 years. The Institute's director, Fu Sinian, acknowledged the value of photography to his work, commenting that a single photograph could reveal far more than hundreds of words. Following the outbreak of the war against the Japanese, the staff of the Institute of Historical Languages joined the crowds of refugees, bringing with them several dozen trunks filled with books and more than a thousand cases of animal bones and tortoiseshells and animal bones inscribed with ancient Chinese characters, many of them recovered from the Yin ruins. During their time in exile, the Society for the Study of Chinese Architecture worked alongside the Institute of Historical Languages. Lungtou Village is today part of the modern Kunming conurbation. Seven decades ago, many of China's finest scholars and leading academic institutions came together in this village. The scholars either lived in rented accommodation or built their own houses. Knowing full well that the war might be protracted, they were prepared for a long stay. Today, there's a compound in Lungtou village whose doors are permanently locked. Modern, multi-story houses surround it. However, sometimes at the request of the District Office of Cultural Relics, the compound's owner returns to meet visitors. The compound has been preserved because of a house inside it. It was designed and built by Liang Sicheng and Lin Huiyin. This 
，做的，你看这个是粮食厂跟林徽因，还有瓦里，啊，这个，这个瓦里，铁大山，然后上面是风油啦，呃，这个那边是武汉。嗯，那边是就你刚才讲的什么这个维多跟朱自清对不对？这小片的嘛，也在西南里也打过来了，住了很多人。这个村子里面是，还有理发馆。这个村子里面打开住了，可能有十多家吧。我们现在金流的呢，可能就是也就是我们这里哦，还有那个这样那个外嘉义农的这个是啊。现在只有六六两处了，现在。就也是只有我们家这个地方跟另外一个叫理发馆。怎么就你们家的客人留下，人家的都拆了呢？还没这个嘛要看，你自己对这个外屋的这个认识的东西嘛，对不对？外屋这个东西嘛是不不不可再生的，你把它拆了就拆。这个地方很多啊，真的是，很多像我们家这种房子，都是都是前两年就是。不开门也进不来。进不来嘛这个地方。那、这个、the compound owner built a new house in the compound just as the other villagers had done. And had, in fact, planned to demolish the old single-storey dwelling. But in 2003, the Kunming municipal government designated the old house an historic site and gave it protected status. By this time, the owner had moved to live in the city, and now he rarely has the time to return to this old house. <laughs> Our house includes three large rooms, a kitchen where I am principally involved, and a maid's room which lies vacant since no servant could be secured all those months now. Though theoretically, we still can afford one. Yo, this floor is actually made of wood. This floor is actually made of wood. This is 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 made of wood. 你看，这个、这个是还有个金玉林啊，金玉林住的是一间。During the spring, Lao Jin had one extra ear room built attached to our main house on the side. Thus, the whole of the Bei Zong Bu Hu Tong group is at present intact, but heaven knows for how long. My parents used up their savings and sold some of my grandmother's jewelry to have the house repaired. They laid down a floor of rough wood, built a simple bookshelf which they placed near the window, and covered the wooden stool under the bookshelf with flowery fabric. Mother often collected wild flowers and put them in a pottery jar in the house. Actually, 那个我就感觉那个房子马上就感觉非常的，然后现在的话就是非常温馨，就舒服极了。我说我这么我我当时就觉得啊，那时候我是不太注意这些事儿的，什么建筑了、装修了，我那时候是不太不太注注意这。但是感觉得我妈真神，怎么这么一下子就把这个这么一个破房子啊，搞搞得这么舒服，这么可爱。只要有一点他条件，他就要把自己生活搞得。In this small, cosy living room, Mother explained to us the writings of Zhuangzi, such as the section of an ox, and Tang Sui successfully fulfills his mission. She also taught us the poems of Li Bai and Du Fu. I was particularly fond of the poems Du Fu wrote in Sichuan. Mother often took us to the nearby village of Waiyao to watch the villagers making pottery basins and jars. She was loud in her praise of the marvelous pottery objects. Once, in a loud voice. She asked the potter to stop working. He kept on working and didn't look up at this crazy woman from outside. Mother always laughed when she told us that anecdote. For Lin Huiyin, the time the family spent in Longtou Village was one of the happiest periods in her life. Your letter came a day before the Moon Festival. The weather at this point is turning cool, with more and more of the flooding light of autumnal glow. The scenery has been glorious. Everywhere there's a fragrance in the air. The wild flowers reminding one of thousands of the nicest feelings long forgotten. On any morning or afternoon, the sun steals in at curious angles to one's aching sense of awareness of quiet and beauty. Amid the helpless world of confusion and disaster, a 
And now it is festival time. It seems more like an irony of logic. Don't let Lao Jin see this. <laughs>